What's up guys? Let's talk about plant growth regulators. I use a generic Trinexapac ethyl product called T-Nex from QualiPro on my lawn. It's a micro emulsion concentrate that you spray on your lawn to reduce clippings and mowing frequency. The active ingredient is a foliar absorbed type 2 PGR that works as a gibberellin biosynthesis inhibitor. Gibberellin is a plant produced hormone that is needed for cell elongation. So when production of it is inhibited, plant cells don't elongate, inner nodes become shorter, and overall plant growth is reduced. Here's a look at a sprig of Bermuda I pulled from my lawn compared to one from my neighbors. These are the same cultivar from the same sod farm and as you can see the effect of the PGR is very impressive. Other notable benefits of using Trinexapac ethyl include seed head suppression, better color, and improved stress tolerance. So as you can see there are a number of reasons this stuff is used on golf courses, but let's talk about the economics of a plant growth regulator for a homeowner. Application rates vary based on turf type and mowing height. But for the purpose of this video, let's just assume I'm treating my hybrid Bermuda grass lawn maintained at one half inch. At that height of cut, the recommended application rate is about a quarter ounce per thousand square feet every three to four weeks. I can get a gallon of this T-neck shipped to my door for about $160, which works out to $1.25 an ounce. So if my application rate is a quarter ounce per thousand, a PGR app costs me less than 32 cents per thousand square feet, or about $2.50 to treat my 8,000 square foot lawn. During that three week period, the label says I could expect growth suppression of up to 50%. But for practical purposes, let's just say it saves me one cut a week. So then the question really becomes, is it worth a dollar to get to skip a cut and spend the time doing something else? I know what my wife and kids would tell you. The only real downside for a homeowner is the high price of admission. A gallon of this stuff goes a really long way. So if you have a small yard, you may want to think about splitting it with a friend or a neighbor. That said, even if I had to bear the entire cost, I still think I can make the case for using this stuff. The benefits far outweigh the cost, and I would say it's almost a necessity if you're maintaining a sub one inch high to cut. If you'd like to join the discussion about using plant growth regulators on a home lawn, I'm going to provide a couple links to the lawn form in the description below. I'm also going to provide another link to an interesting discussion about using growing degree days to time your PGR apps. All right, so that's all I have for today. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.